For eight weeks, King John's forces had battered Chateau Gaillard's walls. Then they rolled out Warwolf, a trebuchet so massive it took 30 wagons to transport its parts. When assembled, this 15-ton beast could fling 300-pound stones 300 yards, and it was about to rewrite the rules of siege warfare. The trebuchet wasn't European at all. Persian engineers first perfected counterweight physics, launching flaming pots of Greek fire. When crusaders saw these devil's weapons in 1097, they raced to copy them, but with a terrifying upgrade, dead horses. Richard the Lionheart's trebuchets hurled diseased carcasses over walls, spreading plague among defenders. At Stirling Castle, Warwolf stones shattered gates in days, proving no fortress was impregnable anymore. But this engineering marvel had a fatal flaw. When Ottoman cannons boomed, the trebuchet's reign ended overnight. Yet, in its 300-year dominance, it had toppled empires and birthed modern ballistics. Today, teams still build replicas, not for war, but to marvel at medieval genius. From biological warfare to the laws of physics, the trebuchet was more than a weapon. It was the first true machine of mass destruction.